What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo J. Welcome back to the channel. So, today I'm gonna be reacting to Bernie Mac's daughter responded to Cat Williams speaking on her father. Bro, all right. Um, if you don't know what's going on or what Cat Williams said the other day about a bunch of comedians, basically, and their wives and 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 bro, Cat Williams took over the internet the other day with this interview he did. So, Bernie Mac daughter responded, bro. So we gonna check it out, man. We so gonna check it like out. Bernie Mac's daughter has spoke out in response to what Cat Williams has said on the Club Shay Shay podcast. And in today's video, we're gonna take a listen to what she had to say in response. I'm pretty much what Cat Williams was talking about in the interview. But before I do that, I'm just gonna play you an old clip of what Bernie Mac has said, wanting the comedians to not take other comedians' jokes. So I'm gonna let you guys take a listen to that first, and then I'm gonna play the clip of Cat Williams speaking about it. And then after that, we're gonna listen to what Bernie Mac daughter had to say in response. And then we're gonna close. She the don't video really out. look like Bernie Mac though. Time. If you guys don't in my view, like in my view. video, that would be highly appreciated. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. And also feel free to share this video out and comment your guys' opinions. And if you want to become a member today to support the channel, I'll link that down in the description. All right, bro. All right, bro. She's all right, bro. See my, my Listen, and I'll come back to you guys. I've been with me all the time. You know, she's seen my, my stuff, my new stuff, and all that kind of stuff. When I, especially when I do my single dates. And I'm trying to school her. You don't do your material around a lot of comedians. <laughs> That's like standing in front of the police. You know what I mean? <laughs> they mean well, but they, they sit on the side. Ooh, that's funny. Next thing you know, you see it on HBO or something. You be sitting at home. That shit's mine, you know? <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna believe you first come, first serve, you know? So when you do new stuff, you never, I'm telling you, for you comics coming up, Never bring your stuff out in front of a house full of comedians. You have never yep. worked a lot. <laughs> Especially established comedians like myself, you'll never work a lot. <laughs> I got too much pride. I can't take something that ain't mine. You know what I mean? I can't go up and say something that ain't mine. Kick well, I don't think Cat Williams said about something you Bernie wrote. took any. King, I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. So why? Because you shit on Bernie. And I know the truth. You think I'm gonna let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you. <laughs> Why? Because the whole time Bernie was here, you was acting like you was funnier than him. The reason you was supposed to go last is because yeah. it was your tour. Tell the truth. It was Steve's tour. Not it was gonna be called yeah, Steve's tour. He, he, he was, was Steve's picking tour. up for Bernie. This man. was the guy's opening for him. Of course you gotta close if it's your tour. That's why it was such a big deal. But you couldn't do it. Because you can't beat the best. And until you humble yourself, you will forever be kinged by the king. And because you finally did it, because you had no other choice, and now that he gone, you going to act like, he wanted to be a movie star. You stop it. Bro. You stop it. That man was funnier than all Everybody y'all. said Cat Williams spoke the truth here, bro. He he was black and That's why it was such a big thing, man. good looking, and he couldn't make it because you did. And that ain't the way comedy works. The king is the funniest, period, every time. And that's why no audience member was ever swayed. It didn't matter where Bernie went. You think if Bernie went first, he wasn't the king? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get your ego what out think? of this. All right, so now go ahead. My question is, who's the funniest comedian y'all know? And take a listen to Bernie Mac's daughter, and then we're going to close the video out. Who y'all think is the funniest, bro? I think Dave Dave Chappelle is because one of the top shit ones. On and I know the truth. So I keep getting uh, lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh, Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay, the interview heard round the world. <laughs> and I don't know my it, my take is probably gonna be really really boring. Um, Number one, I want people to keep in mind, my dad has been dead for 15 years, so I have not been... Bernie Mac been dead for 15 years? No way. 
Damn, bro. Fully immersed in the world of comedy. I don't know the ins and outs of that like that anymore because my end has been gone for 15 years. You know, I've got friends in the game, but we don't sit and talk about, you know, stuff like that. So um, I don't know Cat Williams. Uh, never met him. That's one person I never did get to meet with my dad. I'm still so confused I'm about 15 years. I've ever heard my dad, you know, say he's always seemed like a stand up dude. So I have no qualms, no quarrels with him. Um, I thought the interview was hilarious, entertaining. That man dropped so many uh, one liners that I'm sure we are going to be wearing down to the ground in this year of our Lord 2024. But um, I, one of my biggest takeaways in, in watching people's responses was how people were kind of like, oh, that's kind of sad, like outside of being, you know, tickled by it. And I've seen people say stuff like, it's like watching, you know, your uncles go at it and you're like, oh, why can't we all just get along? I don't think it's sad. Because everybody doesn't get along. Like, I think that's one of the mis conceptions about comedians and I guess it's due to the fact that what they do bring so much joy to others that the perception the expectation is that behind closed doors everybody gets along everybody just it's just it's in love and no it's not it's they've always been competitive like I it's always been um as far as I've ever witnessed in watching my dad it's always been um kind of cutthroat like You'll have, you know, people beefing, like, same as in within your family, just because y'all related. You know, there's one thing that he said that I didn't realize, and it's you write your jokes down. I never knew that. I thought people would go up and it was just naturally funny, and they would just think of something and just say it, you know, and make it funny. Like... You have comedians who will engage with the crowd, so they will make fun of people in the crowd, and their day basically so i thought it was like that i did i had no idea um comedians actually write materials and stuff so that was a new one for me it don't mean y'all all get along right it's comedy's no different um but for me cat williams has my utmost appreciation and respect for giving my dad his props and his flowers and i felt like it was genuine there are some people who have given you know my dad his flowers now that he's dead that i'm looking at like oh, you know doggone well he wasn't doing that when he was alive and that not just famous people just people all across the board and yeah. my dad used to say you ever want to be loved by everybody you ever want to be special just die it's real easy to give lip service when somebody dies and you go, oh it was so wonderful and that's not how you felt when they were alive but when cat spoke of my dad for me I felt his heart. I felt that it was genuine and I appreciate it. Um, again, it's been 15 years since my dad's been dead. If you follow me at all, you know I've said this repeatedly. Like, it does my heart good to know that my dad was a stand up guy, that the man that I knew him to be was who he actually was to people, because that's the thing. Like, we can love people and think they one way. And, oh. and, find out later no and i say like in 15 years if he i still don't under i still don't now would have been like believe hey, it's 15 not, years bro mind. so i remember <laughs> when he passed not the case with my dad makes me so proud and i just really appreciate what i believe the genuine love and respect that cat williams showed my father it is so much appreciated much love and mad props to Cat Williams. I would love to sit down and just have a conversation with Cat Williams because I think that is probably the, mo the most entertaining and gem dropping conversation I probably would have in my life <laughs> outside of conversations with my dad. So, yeah. So that's I feel like I would talk to him too, bro. Probably boring, but that's what I thought. Again, much love and respect to Cat Williams. All right. So, that was some dope commentary for her, and I respect what she said. And RP to the legend Bernie Mac, he was one of the greatest comedians for sure. So I want to know how you guys feel. Comment you guys' thoughts and opinions. If you have made it this far throughout the video, much love. I appreciate you. Don't forget to drop a like before you leave. Thank you. All right, man. In the comment section, let me know what y'all think, bro. If y'all watched the, the interview with Cat Williams, let me know what y'all think. Uh, based on what she's saying, his daughter, you know. She's basically thanking uh, Cat Williams for giving her father the crown he deserves. And my take on it is, 
Bro, I feel like what Cat Williams said was so much of a, of the truth. That's why it is so big, bro. That's why it's so big, bro. Because when the truth comes out, it gets crazy, bro. Anyways, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. As I said, comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about it. And uh, I would say tag me in videos y'all want me to react to, but just comment it. Comment videos y'all want me to react to, bro. See y'all next flip. Peace.